Well, folks, it's the night we've all been waiting for when the best trainers in the country bring their best three-year-olds and duel it out for that sought-after futurity buckle. And the man who made it all happen was none other than Matt Gaines aboard second spot with a phenomenal 229. Congratulations to you, Matt. You looked absolutely elated at that moment when you, you, you kind of looked like you had that winny, winning feeling in your veins. Well, you know, I, I, I feel like I've had a shot to win this a couple different times and and come up short and you know it's just it, it's it's so hard to pull off you know I mean it, it just is it's you know you, everything has to fall together and and you got to have a good horse and cut the right cows and you know and and your help and you know and it's just all got to fit and you know I just I thank my Lord and Savior for allowing this to happen because it's it's an amazing feeling and and I'm just I'm very blessed with the uh, you know, uh, just everything. My wife, Tara, is awesome. She, you know, keeps everything going. And uh, the Barkers, I mean, you know, they, uh, they've just, they're just amazing people. You know, they've, they've been so good to me and raising good horses and giving me good horses to ride. And, you know, so it's just, it's just, it just, you know, it feels good to, it feels good to, you know, the relief, you know, finally win the futurity, but, but it feels good to, you know, to, to reward them, to do it for them. Thank you. You know, and I'm, and cause they, you know, they've been awesome and I'm just, I'm happy I was able to get the job done for them. Well, you were an absolute crowd favorite. Did you, did you feel the crowd and the support behind you? Because they were going crazy. Yeah. You know, it's, and it, that's one of the things that's truly been amazing. I've had, I can't tell you just you know especially since last night the amount of texts and phone calls and you see people in the exhibit hall and walking around you know that that are pulling for you and you know and and it's hard you know and you hear you know it's your year well i've heard it's your year so many times you know and you just you know you just try to keep it all in check and stay focused and you know because bottom line is you know you that, that's a really good horse, and, and I know she's been one of the favorites throughout the show, but you still got to get it done. You know, you still got to get the cows cut, and, and you still got to get the job done. There, Nobody's going to give it to you, so. It, it kind of adds to the pressure sometimes because each, you go around, and then the semis, you, your score was building. You really peaked at the absolutely right time. Well, it's like I always say. Everybody asks, what's the toughest round at the futurity? It's the next one. That's how I say the next one. <laughs> Once you get one over with, then it's the next one, but. Uh, but yeah, no, it's just, uh, it's a, it's an awesome feeling and I just, you know, like I said, I just, I feel blessed and, you know, glad to finally win this one. Can you talk us through your run? You seem to pick all the black cows. What was it about those? You know, it's funny. I, I watched that first bunch and I didn't watch them real close, but I watched and I watched those guys, uh, showing and, you know, I'm, I'm normally one of the last ones to cut black cows but i watched everybody cutting the the colored cattle and they were just they were most of them were pretty strong and pushy and and uh, you know and everybody's going for it and i just said to myself you know it looks to me like everybody's pushing a little too hard trying a little too hard going a little too fast and you know and the colored cattle look you know look to be pretty strong so you know i kind of had that mindset when I went up there to watch cows, still open-minded, you know, to all the cattle, but, and there was a few colored cattle that, that I liked too, but I really focused on the blacks. They seemed to be a little, uh, you know, not quite as strong, and, and I, I felt like with my mare, the way she's been, if I could just keep something in front of her, away from her, that, you know, that I could, I could get enough done to give me a shot, and, and I just, you know, I didn't want to, I didn't want to risk taking myself out, and, uh, you know, so it's kind of that was kind of my focus when I went up there, and and you know it, it worked out. Is that the hardest part, finding that fine line between not forcing it but having enough happen to, to get that phenomenal score? Yeah, you know, and, and it it's it's so it helps it helps having a horse like that. Like I, you know, she's got so much look in in what she does. You know, I, I don't feel like I have to force it. I feel like I just you know. And that's I've kind of learned that about her going through the rounds, and even last night, you know, if I can just stay clean and and keep from getting in a bind, she's going to mark a big score. And uh, you know, so 
so it, it you know it's kind of nice to have that feeling like i didn't feel like i had to go cut some tough cows and go hold them to have a shot to win i just needed to be smart and and cut cows let her do her deal and you know if it was me it'd work so tell us about this horse you trained its mother um so you're obviously very familiar with uh, the bloodline yes yeah i trained her mother and this this bear is very similar to her mother her mother a lot the same style wasn't quite as quick her mother was a good bit longer bodied mare and she just couldn't get around quite as quick as this mare could do a lot of the same style really big stop real you know work low to the ground and all but she just wasn't quite as quick this mare's built a little better and it's quickened her up some and and she's just a little more of an athlete so so second spot kind of made alive a name you're gonna change it <laughs> well i uh no, we're going to leave it. <laughs> we're going to leave it. And, um, oh, I mean, you, you, you referenced it earlier. You've been cutting since you were a kid. You've pretty much won everything. You know, 12 months ago, you won the, the Open World Finals, um, and that had a huge following of fans. Um, obviously, tonight, you can hear the fans. Um, again, um, does it get any better than this? Well, I, you know, who knows? Uh, It'd be hard to get much better than this. You know, last year, last year was amazing. That's you know, and and winning the Futurity tonight's awesome. But I don't know that anything will take the place of last year. That was such a, you know, that was such an amazing journey. And you know what, we had to be good all year. Not 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 one show. It was it was all year, and we had to be good all year. And and you know just the work everybody put into it the work tara put into that mare keeping her sound all year and and hauling her all over the country and you know that's i mean that's i'll never forget this but i sure won't ever forget that either you know it's uh it's it's been an awesome two years yeah, well you've given everybody many memories and some really exciting cutting thank you very much matt we really appreciate it well, thank you thank you